Oh no. <laughs> Poor Commando, he's just dead in a puddle of acid over there. That's unfortunate. All right, yes, yes, uh, lots of new material because it's been at least four months since I played this last and probably at least six months since the footage that you guys saw. The editor of this video would like to point out that in addition to those delays, this video itself is now almost a year old. This was originally recorded on January 1st, 2020. I hate myself, everything I stand for, and everything that I am. Because I lost a whole slew of episodes of this game, which is, <laughs> which is why I've been reluctant to come back to it until now. Hello everybody, my name is Alaskan Blue Jay, and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. Shogun and I were uh, playing through, just basically just doing a casual run through, not really uh, doing like the informational explanatory version of this that I like to do with this game, but the new update had just come out, including this new character here, who, was, who wasn't there last time, Rex, I'd even completely forgotten his name. Um, so we'll get to him eventually. Unfortunately, like I say, that footage got lost. So there's some new items that weren't there last time. Um, so I'll be talking about those. The game has since been updated twice because we have two more new characters that I don't even know about. Also, uh, uh, last time I mistakenly said that we would be <laughs> playing multi next. I, the idea was going left to right. I thought multi was the next one because he was the first person that I unlocked. He's the easiest to unlock. Uh, out of any of them in my opinion, but Huntress is actually next, so I guess we'll be doing Huntress first. And once again, it, this even though this sort of backfired on me last time, I'm gonna play on easy with Huntress because Huntress usually does not survive very long. Huntress can shoot her primary shot while sprinting, which is very useful. Huntress is an incredible scout. Laser Glaive, throw a Seeking Glaive that bounces up to six times. Damage increases by 10% per bounce, and it can bounce multiple times between uh, the same two enemies. So I basically just spam this anytime I'm shooting at more than one target. Uh, that also is really good for wiping crowds later. Blink, disappear and teleport forward, pretty self-explanatory. And Arrow Rain is her sort of special move. Teleport into the sky, and it, it does like just the classic stereotypical RPG like rain, like, like literal just a circle of raining arrows, you'll see. It's pretty fun, actually. Basic staple of anybody using a bow in any RPG ever. Oh boy, it's been a while since I played this. Yep, so Huntress is one of the easiest to use characters because her arrows are just basically little seeker missiles that go to uh, whatever that circle is locked onto. The only thing you even need to remotely aim at all is this, the arrow rain ability, and even then it covers a pretty wide area. The other thing that's fun about arrow rain and uh, something that Huntress has going for, again, it, it, at least as far as I remember the last time I played this, it's been a while, but arrow rain doesn't really have a range. You can put that down pretty much anywhere on the map, regardless of distance, with no damage fall off. You know what? Here, let's let's make things interesting right out of the gate. See, so there's a crowd. Throw the glaive, it bounces between everybody. Easy. Okay, sir, sir, you're getting a little close there. Back off. Whoa, whoa, uh, okay. They changed the design for lunar coins and the icon, I see. I also uh, was kicking myself for pretty much the entire process of editing the last couple episodes because I did not bother to use any of my 60 lunar coins at all. I think it was more like 70 at the time, too. I should be spamming those to get good items. Oh, oh, War Banner 3D printer, interesting. I don't think I'm actually gonna trade because the value of war banners kind of depreciates over time because it only works on level up and in the late game you almost never actually level up. <clears throat> Excuse me, level up, so. That's gonna be a hard pass from me on that one. Now, something that's very fun about Huntress's dash ability here, that teleport, is that uh, the distance with that sort of like commando's dive roll that you've seen me do before, uh, the distance of that dash gets bigger the more speed items you have. It stacks. Now, um, these were not here in the last video. Those got uh, added in the update that got eaten by the black hole of corrupted footage. Um, but I do know what these are. These crates, uh, they added crates that drop specific kind of items. So red ones with bullets on them, you will be unsurprised to learn drop damage items. 
like gasoline, for example. I feel like I'm not finding barely any loot. Which is sort of concerning. Did they, like, nerf the amount of chests that drop in the world? Because that would kind of suck. Because that, like, if that is the case, that immediately makes my job much harder. It's also early in the game, you never know. Maybe it scales up later. Ooh, tougher times, okay, nice, nice. We needed that. Now, something else that's useful about Huntress's teleport is you can use it to cancel fall damage. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a chest. Usually I have corpses turned off in this game. I'm not sure how that got turned back on. Maybe it has something to do with the update. Let's grab some equipment over here. Hey, all right, Royal Capacitor, I'll take that. I mentioned that briefly, uh, or actually, no, I don't think I did. I think I got distracted last time. Um, Royal Capacitor is possibly my favorite equipment item, uh, with the exception of Foreign Fruit, which you saw before, which just heals you. But this basically means I just get to do a, a fuck ton of damage to a single target. 576 damage to that poor Lemurian there. And it charges incredibly fast compared to the other items. It only takes 20 seconds, like, base charge time. And you can break that with, uh... Uh... Items like the fusion cells and the gesture of the drowned... Items. In fact, that might be something fun, since Huntress, in my opinion, is best played as a glass cannon because she gets really easily one-shot anyway. I don't think I'm gonna use foreign fruit. I think we'll probably just stick with this royal capacitor and I'll see... When we start visiting the shop, I'll see if there's anything I can do to, uh... Uh, to break the game in, in my favor that way. Okay, another gasoline. Not gonna complain. That'll, that'll put a little more damage in. Not even gonna bother opening the equipment crate. Like I say, I've already decided. We're sticking with the capacitor. Ooh! Okay, that's new. I haven't seen this one before. Fresh meat. Regenerate health on killing an enemy. Oh! Oh, we have needed that! I have wished for an item that does that so many times. See, because now, actually, I, I may have to go back on what I said there. Just, just by learning that that one item exists, because Huntress is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a DPS monster once you start building damage items. So the fact that she's going to be able to heal on kill, even partially, is, is big. Huck that glaive over there to kill a few things. And then there's that gasoline doing its work. I feel like it didn't used to show, like, the actual burning status effect on things that were affected by gasoline before. That's a nice change. It's also entirely possible that, um, my sense of how much loot is in this area is skewed because one of my favorite things to do, uh, in this game is convince my friends to launch this game, even for just five seconds. Um, because if we spawn into a multiplayer game and then they just leave, then it, it it doesn't account for the fact that they left. So it'll spawn twice as many enemies or three times as many enemies or whatever, but it will also spawn twice as many or three times as much loot. So it's like mayhem mode for Risk of Rain, and it's, it's possibly my favorite thing to do. Okay, so Monster Teeth drop healing orbs on kill, so that'll synergize nicely with the fresh meat thing. It's just sort of tough, like, Monster Teeth was, was nice, that was the closest thing to that new fresh meat buff that was really possible to get. The problem was that the only way to really make it good was you had to be up close and personal and in their faces to use it, which, for Huntress, is usually a terrible idea. Huntress does her best work from a distance, which is why a lot of her kit involves teleporting moves. Okay, I, I think we're about done here. Let's get this over with. Beetle Queen? Okay, okay, alright, I can work with that. Commando kind of struggles against these, but I think Huntress will be okay because Arrow Rain just starts putting in passive damage that I don't even need to worry about, and if they do that acid spray thing like that, and I think it's actually going to hit me, then I can just use the teleport to get out of the way. Whereas Commando, because it was an actual physical dodge, instead of literally disappearing and reappearing from reality, sometimes he would still get hit by that anyway. I can also just use my special as a counter to that. I somehow didn't realize that until just now. 
Oh, God. Uh, again, though, part of the struggle early on here, unfortunately, is that we found no speed items, and Huntress does her best work at high speed. Oh, look at how much damage that Royal Capacitor does, though. Like, my boss clearing strategy may literally be... Especially once they start being dangerous. I mean, I'm barely taking damage now because it's still early game, but... Once they start being dangerous, my entire boss killing strategy, if I haven't found enough good items, is probably just going to be to camp in the back of the map like a bitch and nuke these things with the Royal Capacitor from a distance. Because Royal Capacitor also has no damage fall off whatsoever. You can use it on anyone. You just have to aim at them. So if there's a bunch of little guys in the way, that might be more difficult. But if I kite everybody to me and then just isolate the boss by itself and then hit it with Royal Capacitor from across the map, that's a completely legit strategy. Now, I just found Kiara's band. Um, which actually, I don't think I'm... I don't, I'm not sure. I found that last time. Um, I, we found Runald's band in the last episode. That's one that causes this little ice vortex and slows enemies down. Kiaro's band is the opposite, it's the other half. They're, the, together, they're called the wedding bands. Hey, abandoned aqueduct. This level's been in there since the beginning. The game just never gave it to us for that entire two hour run last time. Um, so you, you see it creates a little, it has a chance on hit to create a little fire tornado there and it does burn damage over time. Whereas I, I kind of like that one better because damage over time, I, I always prefer damage to passive status effects like slowing them down unless it's against like bosses having bosses slow down is always kind of nice spawned in with quite a bit of cash already too hey all right atg missile launcher don't think i had that last time either that's a chance on hit that it'll just fire a seeker missile and it works on the same logic as the ceremonial daggers and the fireworks and everything it just launches a missile that will seek out the nearest target even if they're clear across the map and just annihilate them yeah we're we're doing damn good damage for it being this early on and having not found as many items as I would like. Okay, ooh, 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 damn, these are all good. Fuck, I'm gonna have to go with the quail just because I need a quail in my life. Because again, Huntress does her best work at high speed. Um, but uh, I really hope I get a chance to show off the predator mask too. I didn't, get to, I didn't get to do that last time. See, there we go, there's a seeker missile right there. 130 damage just for free on the nearest target. All right, quail, there we go. There we go, that's better. I'm glad I have that back already. That took entirely too long to get last time. Oh, they may have buffed the range on that glaive too. I was not sure that was gonna hit anybody else. Leech seeds, okay. Dealing damage heals you. That's another one that'll that'll complement uh, that new fresh meat thing well. I also just realized I didn't check any of the objectives uh, for the new for the new items that you need to unlock at all. So, we'll either be surprised by me doing things by accident or we just won't really get much. But that's okay because, like I said, Commando's RNG last game was sorta sad. So there's plenty of existing stuff for me to show you and talk about anyway. I'm, I'm okay taking this just one step at a time. Ooh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Didn't have a chance to grab one of those last time either. That's a missile drone. So now I've just got a little uh, NPC drone wandering around with me shooting those same seeker missiles that are, that have a chance to drop because of the rocket launcher. And missile drones are pricey, but they do really good damage. And on top of that, they uh, they make good cannon fodder. They give the enemies something else to shoot at, which is nice. Because again, Huntress is a glass cannon, so the more cannon fodder I can give, the better. Oh, I thought that was a goat foot for a second. You know what, though? Backup mags are really good for Huntress, too. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just continue to go with my existing rule with, for 3D printers. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. I shouldn't have even thought it. My rule for 3D printers is that I always trade until I lose something that I like. And, and the first thing I lose that I actually like, that's when I stop. Or go ahead and take one crowbar. Again, the fact that she can shoot while sprinting is very nice on Huntress. Because it means if I need to, I can just hold down the trigger and shoot and just flick and dodge if I need to. Which I, come to think of it, I never used to do. The only reason I thought to do that just now, like do a quick flick to dodge and then look back, is because I've been practicing a similar move with 
slide shooting on Destiny 2, so that's another way that these games are kind of training me to be better at each other. I, I swear there's less loot here than there used to be. I feel like I'm finding almost no items. Whatever. I, again, it's uh, that's part of that's part of the why I'm playing on easy because even though not having items on Huntress makes me nervous, nothing's really actually all that dangerous yet. Still. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not a fan of that. I really don't like that this game thinks that spawning a bunch of more minor elites is less dangerous than just a single boss because that could not be further from the truth where Huntress is concerned. Like I said, she only has the one... Well, actually, I mean, when they're all grouped up like that, Hail of Arrows isn't bad. But she really only has the one dedicated crowd damage move. Thank God I picked up that coil, otherwise I would be in a world of hurt right now. The ability to dodge is coming in clutch already. Ow, fuck. That helps, though. Again, I'm still in the mindset of trying to save my super. I need to not do that. Royal Capacitor charges every... What, is it 15 seconds? I could have sworn it used to be 20. Nope, nope, nope. No, you don't. Get debated. Ah, okay. Well, I guess I'll get debated, too. I keep forgetting ice elementals blow up and slow you down. Um... Oh, okay, you're just really stuck over there, huh? Here, let me just put you out of your misery. Red Whip! Yes! Speaking of speed items, move fast while out of combat. I mean, that's not necessarily super awesome, because, like, I like to run and gun. Especially since Huntress is the only one that can do that, sprinting and shooting at the same time. But if I need to bail and get out of combat fast, then as long as I don't take damage for, I think it's like two seconds, then I'm considered out of combat. If I don't attack or take damage for like two seconds, then I get that speed boost and I can get the